Happy Friday and good morning. Here we have a couple time lapse looks from yesterday near the Santa Barbara Harbor camera and from our Cuesta Peak camera as well. We did wake up to a lot of cloud coverage. We saw some fog and some misting, but you can see here how quickly those clouds cleared out. I do think some beach areas today will be seeing some clouds lingering for the second half of the day, but a very similar setup and transition into that sunshine. So take a look here as far as the sunny skies, those temperatures should be warming quickly. It's going to be a great day for your pool forecast. Today and tomorrow we're warming even further. Here in Santa Barbara we'll work our way up to 76 degrees by about 3 p.m. and even beautiful conditions heading into that 6 p.m. time frame. So as far as what we're tracking the next couple days, like I mentioned, high pressure builds in today and tomorrow. I still think we'll be seeing some rain layer influence in the morning, but temperature wise near the coast we're actually going to warm up even further. Santa Barbara making it into the 80s, 96 degrees there in Santa Inez, 89 in San Luis Obispo. So I do think Saturday is going to be one of the warmer days of the extended forecast here because Sunday we start to cool right back down. High pressure gets replaced with low pressure and then by about Monday and Tuesday of next week those temperatures will be below average. So just a couple more days of heat to get through here. The National Weather Service has prompted a heat advisory starting at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, continuing until 8 p.m. on Saturday. So again, those temperatures could be anywhere from 96 to 105 degrees there. So you'll still want to practice heat safety, not only today, but into tomorrow especially. And a lot of those air interior areas will be well above average. And even the beaches looking to be above average today. So your Friday forecast shaping up like this back into the 70s here. Santa Barbara up to 76, 79 there in Montecito. Again, we are going to be tracking some pretty breezy sundowner winds. That's a typical pattern that we see with warmer temperatures, high pressure building in that really creates some gusty winds near the Gaviota Pass there. I do think those winds will be gusting anywhere upwards of that 40 mile per hour range, strengthening into tomorrow afternoon as well. So as soon as that sun starts to set, we might even have a wind advisory going into effect there into our Saturday evening. But here's a look again at temperatures in San Luis Obispo, back up to 82 degrees for the day, 104 in Paso, 102 in California Valley and Ventura County temperatures warming into the 70s. Have a good one.